Merry Christmas everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In this episode, we're going to start things off with a little reconnaissance with this uh, chick over here. She's seen acting kind of fishy. And there's a good reason for that, so... See if we can't sneak up on her, maybe. Take off, go away. There she goes. All right, after quick. I didn't even move. Oh wait, there you go, Link. <laughs> I can't tell if that's like he's pretending to be a seagull or a cat, but we, we must have fooled her. All right, come on. Should be on this ramp now. Oh. Right here. Where'd she go now? Did she already go down there? Or she, okay. Gotta be quick, we gotta catch her in the act now. Got her. You 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 startled me. What what do you want? My, my heart's racing, you scared me. Wait, are you the kind of creep that goes around night scaring people? That's just plain mean. Who do you think you are anyway? I am an ally of just. <laughs> oh gosh. A what? An ally of justice? I, I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please let me go. It was just an impulse, that's all. Just a bad idea. Why won't you say anything? Does this mean you're mad at me? Could you at least listen to the circumstances in my life that led up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. Sure. I was once the richest little debutante in this town. Did you know that? Debutante. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't seen that word in forever. But one day a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress. Where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune. Gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now every day, from morning till night, I'm busy working for the open air shop. So as you can see, at least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events in my pitiful life? <laughs> pitiable life? Kind of funny. Uh... I think you have to say this. And to make matters worse, for some reason I still can't figure out that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. It makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. <clears throat> do you understand my plight? Very well. Then you'll let me go? Unfortunately, no. But why not? Because I'm honest. 
true. I know I'm quibbling over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. You're so traumatic, chick. Oh my god. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. There you go. At least she's mature. Jeez. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will never do anything like that again. Ugh. Oh. What an amazing feeling. I've let out all my worries. I've let all of my worries out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please, take this. You got an empty bottle. Alright. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. The tiny bottle made a crystal gl clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Uh, and here she goes back on her. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can say the cheesiest things without blinking an eye. <laughs> you've been <laughs> you've been cheesing it up this whole time, girl. So, um, I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Bye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Bye, thanks for tonight. Because that, that's totally how the situations work. I hope you guys can hear me. Well, I'm, um, uh, I'm using the same mic, but I have a boom port now. I don't want to, like, really... Move it much? Eh. Well. But yeah, so I have a boom for my mic. I got a new um, webcam, so hopefully it looks a little clear. And as you can see, like I did a little, I tried to make it look a little polished. I got my uh, border down there. And if you are so inclined, you can follow me on Twitter. I I never really, um, you know, plug that, but. It's there. <laughs> and pretty soon, uh, whenever I, I'm moving into a new place, because I got a new job, and when I do that, I'm going to have a lot better uh, internet service. And so I'm going to start, or at least I'm going to try and start like streaming too. And when I do that, I'll, go, I'll put my, uh, my Twitch handle down there, as well as my Discord. If you want to join the Discord. Uh, and yeah. I'm, I'm pretty exciting. Alright. No mail. I really just came here for that bottle. We, we do have stuff that we need to do. Um, yeah, actually, I think we might be able to do something else. Uh, all right now we got much better lighting so anyway yeah um, i hope you guys had a great christmas um let me know what you got in the comments if you got anything really cool or if you were hoping to get something that you uh, did end up getting Alright, so this is later, and I'll probably just do this all in one episode, um, if at all possible. I mean, I'll, there'll be a lot of, uh, cuts, because it, it can be a fairly long side quest just because of the, uh, sailing back and forth. But we'll, we'll cut to each part, but it won't be yet. Because we still wait. What? Uh -huh. Can I? Okay. Oh my god. 
I literally was just over here. Alright, so he is now selling goods. But he only has one contract. And if we go and trade that, like, town flower that he has to somebody else, then they'll start shipping their goods to him. And he'll supply them with town flowers, so... Basically, like, it's they're letting each other have permission to uh, sell the other person's goods at their locations. Retail for you. Yeah, we got the town flower. We'll be, like I said, we won't be messing with this just yet. And the prize is, like, it's cool, but it's kind of like one of those extra things that... It's nice, but, yeah. Alright, but, okay, I'm not trying to talk to you, man. Yep, 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 okay. Can I, please? Thank you. Okay, now that we have the, here, do I have the lead? Yeah, I have the lead, so, alright. Can I get it? Can I get it? <laughs> nope. What do you want? So we expect to make the wind blow that way. So we got it. I think I've made it go the wrong direction. I knew I had it the right way the first time. There we go. Oh, where am I? What the heck? <laughs> There's Link. How do I get back up? Oh. Come on. Get up, get up. There we go. Do we? <clears throat> what a view.
Wielder of the Flaming Arrow, when you appear, the lighthouse signal shall return to light the seas at night. The Seer, J. Hell Pickle. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, we ran out of magic. Are you kidding me, man? Uh, I'll be back with magic, guys. I'm, I apologize. <laughs> Alright guys, I got some green potion, I bought an extra one, just to have, <laughs> so I don't have to keep doing, oh wait, we don't have to go this way anymore, well, but it's quicker, because if we don't go this way, we have to go like through that house, and like up the stairs, and then out the door, or we could just jump. Ooh, I should have changed the wind. That worked. Oh, by the way, I just got, uh, my sister bought me this shirt for Christmas. I'll have to, it's a uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Isn't that dope? Alright, this is my stop. Oh, also, just got this hat. You can see it. And I also have the the Rainbow Drip Star from Simple Flips. We out here today. Okay. So, like this thing said, we need to climb up on this. We get some fire arrows going. Come on. Wait. Wait a minute. Uh... I don't think... I know there's a way to do this thing. Okay, I, I did that. When will it be enough? I, I always, oh wait, it's so dumb, you have to like, alright, we're gonna go around, <laughs> hang on, okay, so for some reason, like, I always try that because it just makes the most sense to me, and it's like, I guess you gotta shoot it, like, it makes no sense, I don't know why that's not, like, it didn't turn, um, What? Yeah, let me ask this guy, maybe he knows. I don't know why, why do I like, have trouble with stuff like this sometimes? What are we looking at? The first wheel just started moving all its own, someone must have started up. Wonder who got that thing going. I don't know who it was or where he is, but he must be one nice guy, assuming of course that he is a guy. Well, seeing as how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride when you have the chance. You can jump into the gondola seat just around the corner from here. Trust me, little man, it's fun. Do I have so did I have to talk to him just to make it work? I think it's crazy. Well that has to be night. Does that have to be night? I swear. Okay. <laughs> Oh, dude. Come on. <laughs> dude, I swear. Is there not, not an easy way up there? It seems kind of silly. Alright, check this out. Dang it. Uh. 
Yeah, did you, did you guys check that out? Wasn't that cool? <clears throat> yeah, so you now we got some fire. We got some torches down there. It's like almost. Yeah, now this thing's spinning. I swear, it's like. I almost do it every single time. <laughs> Even in personal playthroughs. There we go. Let there be light. James said, let there be light. And there was light, my friend. Alright. Uh, which way is the wind going? Do, do, do. Oh, we uh, are gonna need that green potion. Good thing I got two. Y'all ready for this? ba da 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 Yo, what up? What do we got? Cool. Alrighty then, one more thing on this island, I'm pretty sure that we can do it right now, unless we've already, wait, hold on. let me check real quick, we've not done it. Sounds our turf. The turf of the world famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Yeah, buzz, buzz. How was that? Did I do good? <laughs> you up? Welcome to Miss Mary, his school of joy. I didn't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? Actually, I just wanted to seduce you. Heard you like jewelry, madam. We need to talk. I know we may look a bit flashy for a too, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Wind Island? 20 years? Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyous problem. There's this delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch the leader, that little boy named Ivan? Talk some sense into him for me. Please, young man, for me. Sure, for you, lady I just met. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. You're such... Such troublesome little boys, I'm at my wits end over what, how to handle them. They won't be so mean to a boy their own, own age, will they? I should think not. Do you, do you know boys at all? <laughs> little boys are mean to everybody, it doesn't matter who you are. Hey, Ivan. Yeah! You old bud, you got a problem with killer bees, huh? Do you? Don't tell me it's that annoying hag a teacher again, is it? Came here to give us a talking to, because Mr. Murray asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty and invincible gang of the four, the killer bees. I think we'd listen to a chump like you. But, tell you what, bud. You want to challenge us to a competition? We'll think about maybe listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? You want to challenge us? Yeah, I'll take you on. You guys are like 
what, seven? <laughs> Alright, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. You're gonna go hide somewhere. And if you find us, we're gonna run. You gotta try and catch us. Easy as that, bud. We won't hide indoors or nothing, and we won't leave this island. So look for us around in the shadows behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. Got it, bub? Ready? Go! Oh, boy. He's something, man. <laughs> oh, you come back here, Alfalfa. Dude, I get it. Shoot him. Dude. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I got me. I got it in. Respect your elders, child. Oh, you guys saw that, uh, that thing, right? Yeah, there's, there's totally a thing there. I know how to make that jump. Are you kidding? Get out of my way. Forgot to make the sound effect last time. So is that haircut. Really good. So lucky. Wow. Come on, you run like a girl. You're awesome. And you praise me whenever I insult you like a girl. What up, Ivan? I always want to call him Jim because of the uh, Majora's Mask. Because <laughs> there's the, the Bombers gang. Let me get a little... Yar! You got me! Yarg! <laughs> Yarg! <laughs> Can't believe it, you found all four of us. And you caught us all, too. Talk about utter defeat. It's like we lost our touch, Killer Bees. Guess maybe it's time we chilled out. From now on, we won't cause no more trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide and seeking skills, here, take this, bub. Thanks. I don't feel the same way. <laughs> uh, this is our favorite possession. But you've proven that you're worthy. Well, you can have it back, dude. I'm not really, but. To our bud, the hide and seek master. Okay, you're definitely like very young. Oh, and one more thing. 
We need you to apologize to Mrs. Mary for us, alright? Counting on you, um. You can do it yourself, you little. <laughs> what can I do for you on this fine day? Can you talk? You did it, didn't you? You said something to the delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. You read it all, dear. You fill me with joy. I have to reward you. So here's a little spare change. Thanks for the cool 50. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. It's a secret to everybody, guys. Rip. No way, I can't give this to her until I... Go outside. No. We don't need to talk about anything just yet. There's a lot of back and forth. Wes. Yeah, are you waiting on me? Hey, sounds like you apologized to teach for us. Good old Mrs. Marie. I'm speaking of, but did you know it's going to be Mrs. Marie's birthday soon? How the heck do you know? You don't show up to class. Boss. Ooh, boss. You think maybe we should give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid. I'm going to kill a reed. We ain't no teacher's pets. Why do you know her birthday, man? Yeah, but teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. What's she into these days, Adam? Uh, what you call them? Joy pendants. Really? Where do you find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find some, we can give them to teach as a present and she'd be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when I was climbing trees the other day, I saw something sparkly, some sparkly light up on top of some tree in town. What was that? Maybe it's one of them pendants. What do you think, boss? Nah, it's crazy talk. Uh, you guys are terrible actors. <laughs> Yeah. Your bud looks like you found yourself a joy pendant. Solid work. Actually, I gotta admit, we hid that thing up in the tree. Thought you'd find it. Listen up, it's gonna be Mrs. Marie's birthday soon. We were thinking of giving her a present, so it was good that we finally got our hands on that thing. We can't go around giving gifts to people. No way. I just don't fit the killer bee style. Come on, bud. Can't you give it to Teach for us, can't you? And it's not like we could just ask anybody to do it for us, neither. It's gotta be someone reliable who can keep a secret. You're the only one we could ask them. Whatever. No! How the heck am I talking to you from way up here? Quit! <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. My dear, that's... A joy pendant! To tell you the truth, I love jewelry above all else, and that why that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Oh my, yes, I will happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist, only one. To tell you the truth, I'd actually like about 20 of them. But that would probably only happen in my wildest dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time. It's tough to put one past me, but being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put you up to this, dear. Those little sweeties. I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Right. And if you see those boys again, tell them I said hello. Oh, uh, hey, I got 20 of these. Hey, dear, did you bring me joy pins again? How many joy pins do you have right now? 21? Why should you think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me? Oh, your teacher is very impressed by your efforts, little dear. 
My whole body is numb with the thrill of excitement. I'm getting so tired. This is what pure joy feels like. Like precisely 20 of them, thank you. That will do just fine. My heart will be all a flutter. I don't know if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. Why would I know that? And just as I promised, I will reward you for going out and collecting these. A wonderful, splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. For once, you're right. Dum, <laughs> wait, dum, da dum. <laughs> you see, although I am better than a teacher, I own my very own cabana in a tropical oasis down south. But lately, I haven't made use of it at all, so you can have it. <laughs> it's all right, dear. You can stop gaping in amazement now. Do a what in amazement? Now that you have this deed, that cabana is all yours. You own it. So whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I'm getting on in an age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me as of late. And I can truly just stay here and relax and continue my work with the children. And just so you know, you'll find that place southeast of here. It's on a tiny, lonely little isle near the Triangle Islands. From now on, it is your own little bachelor pad. Good luck finding Are you serious, man? Oh, one more thing. Don't tell anybody. But yeah, yeah. It's a secret to everybody. Okay, so... I'm gaping with excitement in my bachelor pad. No further comments. Oh, my. Any mail? No mail. Alright guys, well that was fun, I just wanted like kind of a chill th day today, like, didn't want to go through the dungeon just yet, so. In the next episode, we're gonna be going to the cabana, see what is there, and, uh, hopefully we'll have enough time to go and find the, the other sage and play the song for him, so. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode, if you enjoyed it, uh, please leave a like, I really would appreciate it, and Merry Christmas guys, I really... I really hope that you have a good day, and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you can unsubscribe later if you get if you lose interest in the videos, but um, I'd love to have you. So, anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye.